Now we're going to discuss the most common way that guys are going to roll out of your crab ride. And that's going to be pretty much the straightforward way of them trying to continue rolling to their belly. Come here. Here we are at my half and tight waist. I'm pulling him and he's going to roll over his belly. Go ahead. Boom. Head on the mat, short hook, finish. Why this works is because by keeping my head on the mat, I never take the pressure off him, so he ends up being stuck looking into the half. Your coach probably always tells you, look away from the half. If you look into a half, you're in trouble. The thing when he rolls off that way is he's stuck looking into it because of the weight. The most important part about this drill right here is keeping your forehead on the mat. Do not come up on top. The second you take the weight off, he's gonna lift up and look away. Let me show it once by myself without my partner. You'll see what I do. As he, I'm here tilting, as he rolls off, head on the mat, up. Head on the mat, up. I just step over and I keep my head on the mat. Let's take a look at that so you can see real good how you're stuck looking into it. Um, let's have a try facing this way, see how this works. Head from the tight waist, he goes to roll, head on the mat, look up, keep on your belly. See we're stuck in here? If I take my head off the mat as I come over, right, you can just keep, well, look through again. See that a little bit better. Just keep trying to roll your belly. I'm going to show you what will happen if I take my head off the mat. Ready? Go. And that's what's going to happen if you take your head off the mat. For almost everyone I teach this to, your instinct is to take your head off the mat. Focus. Keep your head on the mat. Step over. Find your short hook. Pin him. 